In this video, I'm going to take a look at question 6 from the 2016 Higher Level Construction Studies paper. It's normally a question that focuses on uh, in low environmental impact. In the question that we have here, we are given a drawing of a single story dwelling with external walls uh, of timber and solid timber frame construction rendered with uh, cement board and cedar cladding. All internal partitions are timber frame and the house is designed to have a low, low environmental impact. I'm highlighting the fact that there's three features being looked for here. It's asking to use detail using notes and freehand sketches uh, showing three features that contribute to having a low environmental impact. And the part B of the question focuses on um, to meet the near zero energy building requirements, the production of on-site energy. And it says to uh, use notes and freehand sketches show one means of generating on-site energy. And then to discuss in the third part two advantages of generating renewable energy on site. So we'll go through these in stages and um, one of the key things for answering this question is to make sure that you mirror what's actually asked for in each of the questions. So the first part there it's looking for three, uh, the three features of the design. So I'm going to use a sketch here. It asks for a sketch so make sure that you include your sketch and note and uh, I will bring in um, elements of the sketch that are shown in the example as well too. So I'm starting off by drawing the glazing area that's on this here, which is facing south. Uh, always make sure to include in this as well too, where the south side of the building is and the sketch here some showing the, the rays of some being able to get in from that south side. A little detail for the, the glass. If you have a bit of colour that you can use in these here, it's great too. Um, it all contributes to making a, a better looking um, image and you can see from the exam script that I'm using here as well too the kind of size of the sketch that I'm using. So this one here it's quite simply the building has a lot of glazing on the south facing side it should be south facing and it allows for maximum solar heat gain to enter into the house and the sun is always at its highest and strongest by facing south and then the heat is free. The heat is free and it reduces the use of fossil fuels and saving on the environment because remember the question again is focusing on and low environmental impact. So this is one of the things. Normally the sketch or the, the, the marks between the sketch and the answer will be kind of 50-50. So whatever number of marks is going for the sketch will also be going for the for the note. So make sure that you include the note. So three features are asked for. The second feature I'm going to draw on here is the cladding and the finish. Uh, so again I'm going to just use a bit of a sketch where there's a good bit of the cladding on it. I don't need to draw the redraw the whole um, the whole lot of the, the, the front elevation of the building. So I'm just going to draw the sections with the cladding on them and I highlight where the cedar cladding is. And the fact that cedar cladding is um, it's, it's a renewable material, it's carbon neutral, its trees can be uh, used for this and can be replaced and it removes the trees remove the CO2 from the atmosphere and it balances the CO2 released in the manufacturing of the cladding. So quite simply, that's going to be my second feature that I pull on here. Just simple clear sketches, you don't have to go into three dimensional views really. Just a, a basic sketch, nice and clear. You can see the sizes of it there as well too on the script uh, with the number of lines and your note regarding the point that you're making with whatever the feature is. So again, referring back to the question, the question asks for three features. We've got two features highlighted here. And for my third feature, what I'm going to head for is I'm going to use the plan that is given in the drawing or in the question, I have it highlighted here on the screen. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sketch out that uh, plan and I'm going to highlight use the using the maximum amount of uh, passive solar heat and light coming into the house. So with the glazing areas all orientated towards the southern side of the building. This is something you can spend a lot of practice on in construction is using some of these uh, drawn details that are given in questions and having a go at uh, producing a simple sketch in it. I wouldn't ordinarily recommend that you use pen in it but when you would have the sketch done in, in pencil there is parts of it like say for the, the thicker parts of the wall, the timber frame construction here, you could actually uh, outline them and make it look a little bit more 
uh, kind of stand off the stand out on the page, which is a big help. And even a little bit of color, I have haven't bothered using color in this here, other than that I've got a different color pen for when I put in the sun. So that can be quite time consuming and that, so practice will actually help you speed up and being able to do something like this in an exam situation. And little details like the windows, doors, openings, and that help to make it look much more authentic as regards an architectural type drawing. So I'm just drawing the path of the sun here. Very simple. East, south and west, and then showing the rays of the sun penetrating especially through your glazed areas there which is really what you wanted to highlight want to highlight with this this feature of the building the low environmental impact so large open plan on the south side of the, the house allows for the maximum amount of heat penetration in here also there's the most used part of the building so that's the, these are the, the parts of the building that you want to orientate in the solarity side it's you don't have to use artificial light you don't have to draw on uh, extra heat as well too. So when it's used with the large windows, cuts down on heating bills, reduces fossil fuel dependency. The stove also allows for central heating where the heat can be circulated around the open plan area. And I suppose if that stove was to be a wood pellet stove as well, again you're drawn on the feature that would be sustainability with uh, using a material which can is renewable and reducing the CO2 emissions as well. So on to part B of the question, it was you're asked to to meet the near zero energy requirements. You want to show um, how you might generate a renewable energy on site, one method. And the method I'm going to pick here is solar, solar panels. You can see the sketch, it doesn't actually directly relate to the sketch that we're showing in the, uh, in the question. In this instance it doesn't, it's not absolutely necessary, but if you can draw on it, good and well. And a simple sketch with a few details noted in make sure that you show where the south side is when it comes to the sun because of the orientation is very very important that it shouldn't be anything more than 15 degrees off a solarity aspect in order to ensure the maximum gain from the solar panels and the solar panels are photovoltaic photovoltaic are for electricity and uh, the, the evacuated tubes are for hot water so I've picked on the photovoltaic and it could be used to power uh, equipment or, or appliances during the course of the day when it goes the sun goes down at night time this energy could be stored in batteries and if there was a system in place where you have it hooked up to the grid where you may have a smart meter the electricity that you're generating that you don't use can go into the grid and it reduces the demand that's on the grid as well too so you don't actually have to be using the uh, electricity which has been generated say by other means like the coal has been burnt to generate it so it's, it's clean energy that you're using here so that's a notice with that there there is other alternatives you could go into the wind turbines which I'll do in a different video but for the sake of this here I'm trying to keep it as close to just answering a question within the kind of time that you'd have your 30 minutes or so to answer a question and the last part of the question was to highlight two advantages of this uh, so number one reduces the need to be connected to the national grid which uses fossil fuels to generate electricity, reduces emissions of CO2 and the atmosphere, uh, and reduces the emissions of CO2 into the atmosphere, reducing global warming and climate change. And the second advantage is that it reduces the cost of electricity for the household. And by doing that as well too, it encourages others to do the same and it's much better for the environment.